out They screaming peace when there ain't no peace Israel pop a sign in the streets Look at me, the center of attention Black Messiah coming with a vision Coming with a vengeance Black Messiah coming with a vengeance They screaming the peace, it ain't no peace We pop a sign in the streets we seeking peace in the streets of Babylon Brandison, Glock 40, tucking heat like a carry-on Sinning against the fathers, got me sleeping, not napping on Christ the King revealed, this area phenomenon Kick it against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire come We purified, better than gold, got my Bible on And that's all that I know, where Babylon Gon' fall, watch it blow, ayy Switching it up, the nation's gon' drink it, I'm talking the cup Don't care what you thinkin', believe in the gospel, the God is stinking The fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner, the eat of the flesh The wicked, the sinner, your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin If they is, if they mind, they don't repent they Pray to the most high. So, like he was saying, the, the so-called white man is the one that changed the times and the laws. So let's let's go over some laws that the so-called white man changed. Like today, give me Exodus. Exodus 20 and 8. Bring it up! Because we are hey brother right here. Hey, brother with the black shirt on. What day is the Sabbath day? Do you know? Let's find out. Because the, the the so-called white man tell you it's Sunday. The Christian church tell you it's Sunday. The so-called oh uh, Christian church say the Sabbath day is Sunday, right, bro? Hey, bro, with the black suit on, the black pants, the black shirt. Yeah, you. What day is the Sabbath day? What day is the Sabbath day? God's Sabbath day, the Lord's Sabbath day. What day? Huh? You said Sunday? Okay. What's the first day of the week then? Come down with five minutes, bro. Five minutes. Before you go to throw five minutes. I just need five minutes. That's it. For the word of God. I got the word of God right here. We read out the word of God. Five minutes. I just want to dialogue with you, brother. We brothers. Five minutes. You want to come? Come on, man. Come on. Five minutes. You got that? Watch this. Watch this. Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So it said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. I asked you what day is the first day of the week, right? What day is the first day of the week? The first day of the week is what? Sunday. That's the first day of the week. Watch this, read on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It said, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So if Sunday is the first day, what day is the seventh day? Saturday. So That's today right. is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. Not Bring Sunday. It Bring it out. So, well, watch this. We don't watch this. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. So it said we shouldn't do any work on the Lord's Sabbath day. So, what are we doing today? People working, because guess, right. guess what? The stores are open. I mean, people working, right? But today it says, no working. Watch this, Nehemiah. Get Nehemiah with it quick. Watch Get this. up. What else? That's what's going on on the Sabbath day. Because right now, you try to go into the store, right, bro? He ain't listen no more. Watch this. Read that, Nehemiah. 10. Get it? Yes, Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Watch this, bro. Watch this. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So it says if, if the people bring any wear or victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, watch this. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So the Bible says that we shouldn't buy on the Sabbath day. So we just learned that today is the Sabbath day, right, bro? Right, bro? Right. So the Bible says we shouldn't buy on the Sabbath day. So if the Bible said we shouldn't do something and we do it anyway, what is that called? What is it called? What is that called? If the Bible, if God says don't do something but we do it anyway, what is it called? It's not with an S. 
Watch this. I'm, I'm going to show you. Watch this. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Watch this. Whosoever committed sin. He said, whosoever committed sin. Watch this. Transgressing also the law. It's a transgress God's law. Bring it out. So whenever Look, God right. said don't do something, that's a law, right? Bring it up. Correct? Right. Read, read it again. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. So God said don't buy on the Sabbath day, which is today. So if you buy on today, what are you doing? Going against God, right? Read on. For sin is the transgression of the law. It says sin is the transgression of the law. So you breaking God's law when you sin. That's right. Did you know that? You knew you knew that. But yeah, but what you didn't know was today was a Saturday, right? You didn't you didn't know that, right? Oh you did know that. So you you, you so you about to break the seven day willfully, right? Okay, go to go to uh Hebrews 10 26. Watch this, Hebrews 10 26. So you you about to do it willfully. Come come closer, bro. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. If you want to pull around your car, you can, that's fine. Come closer. Watch this, bro. Watch this. Listen to this. Hebrews 10, watch this. Hebrews 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, for if we sin willfully, meaning we know it's sin, and we do it anyway, read, after that we have received the knowledge of truth, meaning you know that it's a sin, read, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Hey, who is our sacrifice for our sin? What is our sacrifice for sin? Do you know? That's right. It's Jesus Christ. That's right. He has sacrifice for our sin. Bring it up. So if you willfully sin, you don't care about Jesus. You don't love Jesus. Give me that in, front, in, in John, John 14. If you willfully sin, you don't love Jesus. You hate Jesus. Watch this. John 14, 15. Read. Bring it out. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. You good? If ye love me, keep my commandments. So Jesus said, if you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. So if you willfully sin it, you don't love Jesus. Bring it up. You don't love Christ. You don't even love God. You don't love yourself. That's right. If you willfully sin. Sis, my sister, how do you love Jesus Christ? How do you love Jesus? I said, how do you love him? How do you love Jesus? But it, it's not telling me how, though. Like, do, do you give him a call? You send him a text message? Email? A letter? How you love How you love him? No, the Bible don't say come as you are, sis. Watch this. I'm, I'm, watch, what would the Bible say? Watch this. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse 3. For this is the love of God. So it's going to tell you how to love God. This is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. It's a, right. His commandments are not hard. So to love God is to keep his commandments. Yeah, you can love him with all your heart, all your soul, but this got to be with it. Right. So you got to keep the commandments with all your heart and with all your soul. That's right. So what commandments do you know that you keep? Let me ask you that. What commandment? Because you say you say you love God, right? What commandment do you keep? Because it says to love God is keep His commandments, right? So if you say you love God, what commandments do you keep? Yes, that's a commandment. It said honor thy father, thy mother. Yes. What else? What else? Confess your sins. So what is what is sin? Like what is your sin? So do you do you keep doing it? Cause you say repent. Repent means to return. It means to stop doing it. That right? Bring it up. So if you keep doing it, are you repenting? So, all right. But you, you just say you gotta confess your sins and repent, right? Okay. Now. I'm, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is it okay if I show you one of your sins right now? I, at the Bible. I'm going to read out the Bible. One of your sins. Is that okay? 
Do you believe in the Bible? Okay, so so you you wouldn't mind me so you'll see it, right? You wouldn't mind that, right? Okay, watch this. Go to yes, watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman. So it says the woman, right? Watch this. Shall not wear. It says shall not wear. What do we wear? What do we wear? Yeah, what what, what do we wear physically? What do we wear? But Sam, you got on what? What else? Hair, what else? How do you cover yourself? I said, how do you cover yourself? Your body? What do you have on? No, it's just physically. Physically. You got on clothes, right? She said she got on the armor gun. You got on clothes, right? Come on, sis. Come get come with me. She she, 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 she know it. Read, read that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So the Bible says a woman shouldn't wear that pertains to a man, which is pain. Bring it out. Really? Teach Ray, out. Rainbow hair and pants. But you got the armor of God on. Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. My sister right here, they got the car. Do you want to be an abomination to the Lord thy God? Sis, with the white shirt on. Do, do you want to be an abomination to God? Now, our people hate the word of God, bruh. We reading the word of God. Bring it out. And nobody wants to stop and listen. Bring it out. Do y'all believe this? You can tell we're in the last days. Because if, if, if this was 2,000 years ago, our people would listen. Our Roy. people would stop and hear the word of God. But today, we don't care nothing about the word of God. Bring it out. Read again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, go to, go to Isaiah 30 real quick. Bring it up. Isaiah 30. 30 9. Yes, sir. Isaiah 30. Because we, we are reading the word of God, but who wants to listen to it? Nobody. Why? Because some black men are up here reading the word of God. But I guarantee, if there was no slave master, you would be stopping and listening. That's right. Isaiah 30, verse 9. Bring it up. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. The Bible said this is a rebellious people. Read. Lying children. Like this is the lie to say, I see I want the arm of God. How? You want you to listen to the word of God. Read. Children that would not hear the law of the Lord. They don't want to hear the law of the Lord. That's why they don't want to stop. Because we're going to rebuke them. Give me that Isaiah 58. Teach. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Yes, sir. Our people don't want to stop and listen to us because we're going to tell them the truth. That's we're going to tell them right. what the Bible says, not, what, right. not how we feel. Watch this, sis. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. This is what God said. Cry aloud. Spare not. He said, cry aloud. We got a loud speaker so we can cry aloud. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And lift up our voice like a trumpet. Is a trumpet soft or loud, sis? A trumpet. Is that a loud instrument or a soft instrument? Uh. It's very loud, right? Read. And show my people their transgression. It says, show God's people their transgression. Read. And the house of Jacob their sins. And we got to show them their sins. Is that wrong? Is that a bad thing to do what God says? Bring it out. God says, show out his people their sins. Right. Is that a bad thing? But look, but how, how do we get looked at for doing that? We can look at that as the devil. Y'all haters, y'all hate us. That brother said we play hate haters for bringing out the word of God. How is that player hate? Bring it up. So let, let's, show, let's show some sin. Let's get Leviticus 30. Let's get Leviticus 30. Yes, sir. Let, let's see what God calls a sin. Leviticus 30, I think it's verse 13. Watch this, Leviticus 30 and 13. 13 and 30. 13 and 30, my bad. 13 30, yeah, 13 and 30. In the Bible. The vegan 13 30. Watch this. This is what God calls unclean. That's unclean right. to God is an abomination. You got that? Yes, sir. Three. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight, deeper than the skin. So, sis, I, I see you listening. So, it said, if the priest shall see a plague, is that a, a plague a good thing or a bad thing? Is a plague a good thing or a bad thing, sis? 
It's a bad thing. Great. And it be in sight, deeper than the skin. And there be in it a yellow, thin hair. A yellow, thin hair. Today, today is how we call it blonde hair. Read. That's right. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Unclean. Nasty. That's what God called uh, blonde hair. Nasty. Unclean. Right? So let, let's see how God feel about abominations. You know what I want? Yes, it's a rock. Yes, sir. What it is? Uh, 15, 13. 15, 13, yeah. It's yeah. a rock. 15, 13. Let's see how God feel about abominations. So we, we already just saw that women in pants are abomination. Let's see how God feel about it. Read. So rock or Ecclesiastes chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hateth all abomination. The Bible says the Lord hateth all abomination. The Lord don't love abomination. Read on. Watch this. And they right. that fear God. If you fear God, read. Love it not. You're going to hate it too. So God said women in pants is an abomination. And Bring he it hates up. it. Bring it so up. If, you, if you really fear God, you will hate it too. I mean, you wouldn't do it, right? If you hate it, you That's wouldn't do right. it. But what's going on? I, I people walking around, our women walking around in pants. Right. Proudly. Right. They're proud to be in pants. Right. But I guarantee your, your grandmother never wore a pair of pants in her life. I guarantee you. Bring it out. Because she actually has some type of connect with God. Right. But today, That's I don't, right. we don't care about God today. Because guess what? The Bible coming out and nobody listening. Right. And, and that proves to you that we hate God today. Get that in uh, first, uh, first Peter. No, Timothy, my bad. Uh, the last day, I think it's Timothy 3. Second Timothy, Timothy, or first Timothy 3. First Timothy 3 and 9? Yes. First Timothy 3 and 9. Watch this. Let, let's show you that we are in the last days. Watch this. First Timothy, first Peter. First Timothy. First Timothy 3. The book of first. You got it. Yes, right. The book of first Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 9. Holding the mystery of of, of the faith and a pure conscience and let these also no 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 it's not even find me the scripture well the last days how, how you doing sister Arthur Sutton what church is that Oh, uh, uh, no, we never heard that. Well, no, what, 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 what about it? I just told where y'all church was. Oh, yeah, we, we, we right here off of Gallatin Street. Okay. You want to come visit us? You, we got an address on the back of that fly. Uh, so, but, but let me ask you a question for your leader. Do you know what we teach? Because do you often see young black men on the street teaching the Bible like this? You don't, right? Well, in front of the hill, they come by to hold the witness. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's different, though. They, they go door to door. Yeah. But we on the corners. We on the corners in the hood teaching the Bible. Yeah, this like, is the hood. This is the hood, but watch this, sis. You don't see that too often. So if you don't see something too often, you should be like, I wonder why it's going on. Give, give, give me that loop. You should, you should be asking why. Yeah, they don't read the word. They don't want to hear the word. They don't go to church. Right. They don't believe what y'all believe. But do you believe? Because right now, you, you in front of us. So we're gonna deal with I you right believe. Now. You don't have to preach to me. I have no. Let's see. Let's see. Read. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the Who said this, sis? It said who though? The who said it? The Lord said it, right? Watch this, read. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. It says, Go out yeah. to the highways and hedges, right? Read. Yeah. And compel them. What does the word compel mean, sis? What does compel mean? Compel means to teach them, to right. compel them to do what? Why well, I said to do what? And compel them to come in that my house may be filled. It said to compel them to come in that his house may be filled. So that means we, we doing what the Lord says. Right. So if we doing what the Lord says, why is it so bad that you know what we doing? I'm, I'm not saying he said to my like this. If, 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 if we were doing something well, good, the world, eye, the world is divided. This they is, don't want to hear the word. They don't want to hear the truth. Right, 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 they right. want to keep doing what they doing. Yeah, but, but this is my point I'm making. I say if we, if, we, if we really were doing something right, why is nobody stopping? 
That shows you that it's is right. It shows you that it's right because God said people are going to despise his word. I, yeah, yeah, you right. But you, you right here in front of us. Can you? Are you want? You want to hear the word? So, okay, let me ask you this. I just read a scripture that says women shouldn't wear pants, right? If you say you already know what's going on. Why are you in pants? Why are you in pants? If the scripture says women shouldn't wear pants, right? If you already know. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, read it. I'm, I'm letting the Bible speak. Okay. Listen to the Bible. Deuteronomy 22 and 5 again. Watch this. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It says a woman shouldn't wear a man's clothing and a man shouldn't wear women's clothing. So if you already understand what's going on, I'm asking you, why are you in pants? Well, because it's but God said what? What I work, I have to wear pants. But but what did God say? I know He said a woman supposed don't supposed to wear nothing containing to a man. Yes. But there's yes. a lot of things going on that we can't have. So why you think we're in the hood? I'm not in the hood. I ain't saying you. I say we. As a people, our people is in, is in the hood. Just because you're not in the hood, don't mean your, your people are not in the hood. Right. It's God's people. Bring it out. The reason why we're in the hood is because we don't want to obey God. We right. want to do what we want to do. Like, we don't want like, to do the right thing. Just we, want then, to we want to do Yeah, just then, you just made an excuse for bad pants. I got to go. I got to go. I don't even know. Because the word could. I don't even know. What you got? Read it. Read it. Yeah. For all that do so. It says for everybody that do so, all the women that wear pants, read. Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. It says you are abomination, sis. <laughs> you, you should not like that. That's why you running, because you know you wrong. Come on, bring it up. Please, go back, go back to please. Isaiah 30. Start at verse 1. Isaiah 30, verse 1. The sister said, Ah, people don't, they don't want to do it right. They don't want to hear the word of God. But she's running from the word of God, though. Read it. Isaiah 30, verse 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children. It says, Woe, destruction to the rebellious children. People that don't want to hear the word, read. Say the Lord that take counsel, but not of me. They take counsel, but not of God. She said, yeah, I wear pants because of where I work. But God said, don't wear them at all. That's right. So how what, how does that make you right? Because you say, because of where you work and they comfortable. But God said, don't wear them at all. We don't. That cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Go to verse 5. Verse 5. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be in help, nor profit, but a shame. Eight, my bad. Eight. Verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book. So, this is the book that the Bible is talking about. That's so right. we're coming to, to teach y'all out the book that the Bible is saying. Read. That it may be for a time to come, forever and ever. Read. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So this is the people that we come and talk to, to speak to. The ones that don't want to hear the word. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.